Hey everyone, how are you doing? Sorry it's been so long. I haven't gotten any good battles, mostly because I didn't have Wi-Fi for the longest time, but also because all the battles I got in between when I did have Wi-Fi were pretty crappy. Here's a battle against Xenon. I'm sure he needs no introduction right here. And let's see how it goes. He goes out into his Rotom Heat and I go into my Gliscor. I don't want to take an overheat in the face so I bail out who they're going to my Tentacruel to take it. But he goes straight for the trick and honestly I didn't see that coming. I should have. So right here I'm predicting the switch. So I'm going to go for my Acid Bomb to try to lower the special defense or whatever wants to come in. But he stays in and goes for the Volt Change. So it was too bad I didn't go for the Boiling Water there. I could have taken it out or taken it really low. I guess he was predicting my switch. Anyway, he gets out of there, goes into his um, Empoleon there. I can't do anything because Acid Bomb doesn't affect it, so I switch out into my Sceptile and he shows me that he's a Swords Dance set. You guys who've seen my videos know that I'm very well acquainted with Swords Dance Empoleon and I know how strong it is and I also know that the team I have with me right now is not well suited to take it out. So I need to hit it as hard as I can. Very, very, very thankfully the Focus Blast hits. If it missed, I might have been in very big trouble right there. Very, very big trouble. But it hits. Sceptile goes down unfortunately. But I can send in my Gliscor right now. Take an Aqua Jet and finish it off with Earthquake. So, it did a lot of damage to my team. But it could have been worse. And I'm happy with how that worked out more or less. So, I'm in here. I think I can roost up later in the battle, so I'm not too worried about being at low health. And he sends in his Rotom again. Being afraid of the same thing, the overheat, I switch out. Going to my Tentacruel. But he goes for the trick. So we're back to our original items now. Me with the Black Sludge, him with the Choice Car. And um, I go for the Boiling Water here. And when I do, I thought I should have gone to Gliscor predicting the Volt change. But he predicted that I would go to Gliscor. So he used so he used the trick instead. So that worked out for me. I was pretty lucky there that I didn't think it through enough. <laughs> now he goes into his ditto. And none of neither of us can do anything really. So he just assumes that I'm gonna switch out and he's right. I go into my moth, my venom moth, and yeah, I get burned, which kind of sucks. Really sucks, actually, that's annoying. So I decide to go for the sleep powder here, yeah, and he predicts that very nicely and goes into his machoke. I find out later that it's a sleep talker. No, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get out of here, I think. Yeah, I get out of here and go into Gliscor, that's right. As he's still asleep and he shows me that he's a sleep talker now. And before that, I thought he was a sleep talker, but I wasn't too sure. Now that I know he is, um, I realize that I can't do anything to him. If he's gonna be resting up, I re this Gliscor can't really touch him very well. So I get out of there myself. But he can't touch me either, it was really a stalemate, so he switches out, goes into his ditto. So now it's scissor to scissor, but this scissor is a it's a baton pass set. Swords dance, iron defense, bullet punch, and baton pass. So since his ditto is scar, he can't do anything other than bullet punch. So I'm very comfortable in there going for the iron defense. Unfortunately he goes into an Ampharos, so I can only pass out into my glaze score. It's the best thing I have I think because I didn't want anything else to take a hit from it. And he shows me the cotton guard. I thought it was only a plus two increase in defense but he tells me after the match that's plus three. Which is not good. I go for the toxic here. And hoping that he didn't have the HP ice but as soon as I saw him in power I knew it was the HP ice. And my glaze score goes down unfortunately. Maybe I should have switched to something else to test and see if he had that. 
So I go into my Venomoth. I go for the Butterfly Dance. I think pretty much just trying to hit it as hard as I can. But he shows me that he has a Charge Beam now. And that's not cool. Alright, with my Venomoth, I was either going to stay in and hit it or switch or pass out the Butterfly Dance into my M M Bore or M Bore. But he, he has a Charge Beam here. So the special defense raise is nullified and that was really the primary thing that I wanted with butterfly dance. So the special defense so I wouldn't have to worry about its attacks. Anyway I go for the bug buzz here hoping to get off two of them but he switches out into his ditto. And it takes about half, a bit less than half, half or less than half and I get hit. No, he goes for the sleep powder here, remember he's scarfed. Luckily he misses. Oh, yeah, I guess he predicted my switch there. I didn't even realize I was burned, so the sleep powder wouldn't have worked. So I guess he predicted my switch and went for the sleep powder. I go into Emborno. And, yeah, I wrecked this thing with a Flare Blitz. I'm very happy with that damage because I'm sure it has the pre evolution stone and whatnot. Although it's probably special defensive. Anyway. I go for the superpower here because I don't want him to switch into his ditto after this and be at full power to hit my and more back. So I went for the superpower because I got minus one in both attack and defense. So if he switched in his ditto, he would have had minus one in both attack and defense too. Right, he switches in this thing and I go into my scissor. He gets the crit on the body slam but not the power hacks, which is okay with me. I go for the swords dance. And he goes for the body slam again. But this time I do get the hacks. So now I'm going to go for my baton pass. Take whatever move he has because I'm slower now and I go for my baton pass. But he actually goes for the coil. Which concerned me a little bit. To tell you the truth. So I go into my Ember here with the plus two and go for the superpower. Now this, I'm functionally at plus one since he has plus one in defense and this Embor is adamant max attack life orb. So I do get the crit but I don't think it mattered. I don't see it mattering. I haven't run a calc or anything so excuse me if I'm wrong but I, I don't think it mattered. And he goes into his ditto. So yeah, I'm predicting the superpower here go into my tentacle but he actually chooses to go for the flare blitz it works either way it would have done the same damage as the superpower and with my scarf here I can easily outspeed and hit it with a boiling water I love Embo it's like one of my favorite Pokemon this gen that hand Ugamoth yeah. so he goes into his Lord Zap and yeah, I can't touch that thing with Tentacruel. So I go into Venomoth. Well, this is his. Yeah, at this point, this is his last Pokemon, by the way. All I have to do is take down this thing. And it's toxic, and yeah. But it has all that special defense and all that defense. I have four Pokemon left, but they're all pretty badly hurt. So I go for the Bug Buzz just to try to get some damage on it. I'm taking the approach of just trying to whittle it down, hit it with one Pokemon at a time and and then go in with Enbu here. Before he can rest, because I'm thinking that he'll rest. And hit it as hard as I can. Because other than Enbu no, all I have is Tentacruel and Scizor. Scizor's only attacking move is bullet punch. Tentacruel can't hurt it very well. So this is the only person who can really hit it for a decent amount. But he gets the rest off. And. Oh, what am I gonna do? All I can do is go for another Flare Blitz, really. Um, it's my strongest attack, especially since I'm in Blaze now. But the recoil from that and the, and the Life Orb finishes me off. So. I go into my Tentacruel here, I think. But really, it's. Uh, this part is pretty pathetic actually. I just go for the acid bomb to lower special defense and go for it again. But the boiling water would have been better. 
But either way, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I thought of like going for the acid bomb, then switching out, and then coming back for the boiling water, but when it comes right down to it, it didn't matter, I don't think. I can't see it mattering. So I go into my scissor, last Pokemon. I go for the Swords Dance, and he's now at plus six with those Cotton Guards. So to win, I need a, I need a crit. And really, that's the only reason I didn't run right here, to see if I would get a crit. But, yeah, so let's see if I get a crit. Da -da 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 -da. He's charged me with my backside. I really like this set he has on this arm for us. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. But anyway, I don't get the crits, and he takes me out. So that was a really great game, Xenon. That Ampharos is a monster. Um, yeah, you should feel bad using it because it's horrible. Just check it in. It's great. So, see you guys later. Peace out.